The Chinese space station project has hit another milestone recently. The Tianzhou-4 cargo spacecraft was launched in the early morning of October 10. The cargo ship is sending more supplies to the Tiangong space station, and later this year, the second crew will be arriving at the station. 6.5 hours after launch by a new generation long March 7 rocket, the Tianzhou-4 spacecraft docked with the space station following a newly designed fast docking process. The Chinese space agency announced that the autonomous long-range guidance technology recently developed can guide the Tianzhou-4 spacecraft from a 200-kilometer orbit to a 393-kilometer orbit of the space station much quicker than before. The maneuver is carried out by the rocket engines on board the cargo ship. The close-in autonomous control took over at a 5-kilometer distance and docked the ship with the space station. This rapid rendezvous and docking technology used by the Tianzhou-4 only takes 6.5 hours, compared with 72 hours for the Tianzhou-1. The rendezvous and docking time will be even shorter in the future. In the future, the goal is to conduct rapid rendezvous and docking within only two hours. From the moment of launch to docking, it can be completed within two hours and 15 minutes. The Tianzhou-4 delivers more than 40 packages to the space station. They include necessities for life, leisure, entertainment, and other items needed by astronauts, as well as some equipment for space experiments. In the cargo planning stage, the first aspect is the daily consumption and use of cargo by astronauts. The second priority is some maintenance equipment and devices for running the station. The third is the equipment for carrying out space science experiments. The fourth is the latest addition, a low-temperature lock cabinet, commonly known as the refrigerator in the design team, it can serve as a separate experimental space lab. The Tianzhou-4 also carried experimental devices built by the general public and some universities. In a few months' time, the second crew of the Jiangong station will arrive at the station and start building it on a much bigger scale. At the same time they will perform more experiments in space. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.